Hi, today's demo is both something for this week's code pen challenge, which is loaders, and something that I was asked to do a while ago, but at the time I didn't quite have a good idea about how to do it. So hopefully I'm smarter now, doubt it, but let's see what comes out. So we're going to start with uh, something like a display uh, grid, right? A grid. Um, we're going to set a grid template, um, and we're going to need to set a dimension here, so something like 8 amps. Um, and when we set it here, we're going to need to interpolate because otherwise SAS is going to uh, try to perform the division and that's not what we want. Okay, so having done this, uh, we're going to have our div. Let's set a background on it. We should be seeing something. Um, now we're going to have a before and uh, an after, right? Um, let's linear gradient. So this is pretty simple. So let's get this out of the way. So we're going to have a halfway split in between the two colors, right? So something like this. Let's also set border radius 50%. Actually, you know what? We're going to need to set this on the before and after as well. So for now, okay, let's also set here display grid and uh, something I'm thinking about doing, let's take this from here and just set it on the div, on for, after, right? So just set it like this. And um, this stop right here, we're actually going to use a calc. And uh, this is going to be something like uh, a switch, which is normally either zero or one. But in this particular case, we're going to uh, give it a midway value of 0.5. And here we'll be setting it to um, zero. And uh, on the after, we're setting it uh, to one, right? Okay, so it looks sort of like that. Um, and then uh, here we'll be setting a transform and this is going to be a rotate y. We're going to use a calc here. Um, so we're going to use uh, i times half a turn, right? Um, plus something like 40 degrees. Okay, and this it looks a bit like a yin and yang but it's not quite what we want. So here we'll be setting a grid area so that uh, they come one over the other and they overlap. Uh, and also we set back face visibility hidden. Okay, so now we have 40 and when we have 140, it's going to be rotated the other way. That's great. So it's what we actually want to animate this little bit uh, of the angle right here. And actually we can take this part from here, right? And we can replace it just so that uh, everything is more compact, right? So we have something like this. And here when we set uh, an animation, so um, keyframes, uh, rotate Y. And we start from something like something like this. Right? Okay, so we have this. And uh, let's get uh, here and set an animation duration. Of, let's say one second. So here we'll be having animation, rotate Y, 
that animation duration is an out infinite alternate. So um, this should be okay. This is not going to be one hundred. Uh, it's going to be half a turn, right? Turn, half a turn. So, um, actually, we can simplify things even further. So, um, here we could do um, i times. So, it's going to be i plus 1, right? Times half a turn. And this is going to be uh, i times half. A turn, right? Calc. So I suppose you can get rid of that this way. Okay, now we can have a second set of keyframes, right? So um, we're going to call this one um, flip, and the change is going to be at 50%. This is going to be a rotate. This is going to be just uh, half a turn. And we need to get rid of the extra parentheses. And we'll be setting this right here. So animation uh, flip is going to have twice the animation duration. Uh, it's going to use a steps timing function. And it's going to be infinite. So it's basically going to be rotated. Yes, this looks great. Okay, now something else uh, we want to set here is uh, place content center, um, set margin zero, um, make it full height, right? Okay, so this should pretty much do it. This is uh, pretty much the result. So here we have six declarations, two more eight, two more ten, okay? So 10 declarations so far, and then here we have 6, and then one more it's 17, and two more here is going to be 19, and we are at 19 CSS declarations. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is the loader I wanted to show you how to code. Um, we are under 20 CSS declarations, which is great. And this was my second goal for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you like the work that I've been putting out for more than eight years now, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon, where you can get uh, to see stuff that I do in advance, sometimes way in advance, sometimes uh, even really cool stuff like articles I'm uh, writing on, some sort of uh, tips and tricks that you don't get to see anywhere else on the internet for patrons over $20. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wish list, or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching. The links are going to be in the description for absolutely everything this uh, demo, the links to my Patreon, my Amazon wish lists, and everything else. And uh, until next time.